Good evening YouTube, welcome back to Let's Play Full Suit Orbiter's Mark with Pluton. So the last time we left off we just had the battle at the Highlands and met uh, the Bugman Bizarro. So I think first off we'll see if we can upgrade any skills. And uh, we don't have Bizarro actually in the party as such, I think he's just going to be travelling as a companion with us. Uh, always glad to get some help. But let's see what we can do with Kyrie. So, Mercenary. So, we've got Sturdy Grip. Now, that's going to be very helpful to uh, let her use a two handed weapon whilst also having a shield. Um, I'll leave off with a precise strike for now. It's nice to have 100% accuracy, but um, that Sturdy Grip is going to let her probably use a Warhammer uh, with much, much higher uh, offensive stats. So, let's take that. Now, I need to remember to go back and buy her something to use. Um, <coughs> Reiner, so we've pretty much maxed out his uh, scoundrel um, tree here. Do we want to take anything else? Let's see, exploit weaknesses. Critical hit damage by 50. That's pretty good, but it's only going to count for something if we get a critical hit. Um, I think at this stage, he may as well move on to the ranger. Um, Written shot is pretty good to use, um, especially if any particularly strong enemies who are trying to close in on you if you can stop them um, and it does move up to some pretty cool abilities later on in the, the ranger um, tree here so let's see, yeah let's switch him around um, he's going to lose the warcraft with the field aid but I think we're probably going to have enough healing coming from elsewhere so let's actually change his class uh, upgrade him to a ranger and that also means he's going to be able to use the longbow instead of the crossbow, which is going to give us more options in terms of the range damage. I think the longbow does have uh, an extra tile range compared to the crossbow. And we'll make sure that the secondary class is going to be trickery. Okay, so that's, that's pretty good. We've, I'm pretty happy with what we've um, leveled out on this trickery, so... The most important ability, of course, being sneak attack, but if we can combine that with leveling up his, his ranger, it's going to become very, very powerful. Let's move on to Anadine. So, she again, we've got the sturdy grip. Uh, I think we're just going to have to take that for her, even though she's not been using a shield previously, this is going to allow her also to equip the shield. Um, so we'll have to get items for both her and Kyrie. And Virgil, let's see. So he's finally unlocked his counter attack, which is to uh, cast an offensive spell when anyone casts a spell on him. And two minds about taking this, it, it is pretty useful, but it doesn't do a lot of damage in return. So we'll come back and take this later, but for now let's just get the Earth 2 and Thunder 2. It's going to give us more options if we run into enemies who have high resistance to water and fire. Lana, sticking with Mender for now. Um, she has the option of mana font now. This sounds like a good passive on paper, recovering 1 MP with each step taken, but she doesn't move around very much and she actually doesn't often run out of MP. So, I think for now... Revive to... Is pretty good. I think we'll actually just save up for the revive too and then come back for mana font because um, that's probably going to come in more handy in an uh, emergency situation where we need to, to res someone. Rayfen, so she's on the night. Uh, now, there's no question about what we're going to take here. The no flank passive means that all attacks targeting the character are considered to be from the front, so no extra damage from behind or the rear, indeed. Um, so that's a really powerful passive, she's going to take that. And she's also leveled up our Mender, let's just take heal one. Let me double check what she actually has on her set class. So she's got Warcraft at the moment, that is giving her Forceful Strike, but she's not really going to be used in that sense, so I think we'll actually put her onto the Mender for her secondary ability. Uh, secondary class, sorry, and that's going to give her a, a ranged heal. That'll become pretty useful. 
so we can consider her sort of a, a secondary healer. And um, that should do for now. Let's quickly go to back to the shops. Pop to the shop. And what do we want to get? So we want a two-handed weapon for Kairi. So we see here the longsword attack is 50, but on the sledgehammer, 78 attack. So a huge jump in attack power and gives her a little bit of HP with 7, so certainly take the hammer for her. And we can get Anadine a shield, now that she also has sturdy grip. Shields don't have uh, enormous stats, but I'm not going to sniff it getting 60 extra evade at least. And how much money do we have? 5,000? Virgil always seems to gain the ire of the enemies, so let's give him even more defence on his accessories. What's the highest we can take? Pure bands, probably more economical. We don't really need to give him much more speed, so let's just give him that. And in fact, we're just giving him two pure bands. They do seem very fond of focusing him. Oh, and also possibly a longbow for Reiner. Let's see. So, in actual fact, the range on the heavy crossbow is 5. That is the same range as we have in longbow. In terms of damage stats, attacks 52 versus 46. And it does have slightly less accuracy, but we're often going to be using sneak attack with uh, Reiner, so it makes sense to take the longbow. That's going to be an extra, an extra 6 damage. And I think that'll have to do this for now, because we are a bit skint. Oh yeah, we don't actually have enough. <laughs> Let's take one of these pure bands off virtue. See if we can afford it now. Yeah. Okay. So on to the next battle at Scarred Summit. Quite a lot of verticality here, this could be a bit tricky. Okay, so what are we up against here? So, level 5 enemy, Knight Mercenary, Mender, that's going to be one of our first targets. Quite a few guys guarding this door, what do they have? A wizard. All about level 5. Reaver Mercenary, so he's very dangerous uh, up close, more like a sort of Barbarian or Berserker. Knight Wizard, interesting. And a Plague Doctor. <laughs> and Alchemist Scoundrel. So they don't actually have a huge amount of range damage. They've got the Wizard and they've got this Scoundrel. Um, so we can possibly afford to hang back a little bit. We want to go after this Mender as soon as we can. Um, but I feel that she might try and retreat. Although this is a big jump across here, she'll have to come back towards us, so if we try and push up to this section, cut off her escape if she does try to retreat, um, and then just try and move up the hill as quickly as we can. We do have Bizarro helping us, so I wonder what, see what he does. Stick Reiner in the middle here so that everyone can get the advantage of his fleet of foot ability. Um, Although I'm saying that, we might want to get Virgil up towards the Mender to try and damage her as, as quickly as possible. So let's give Virgil the Fleet of Foot and we'll take Anadine here. Uh, Lana also has some range damage, so put her on that side. And then Wraith in. Okay, that should do for now. We have business in the temple, let us pass and we'll be on our way. As Cell Swords, we don't always have the most honourable contracts, but we do honour every contract we take. Then defend yourselves. Okay, Bizarro's wasting more time getting forward. If 
feeling he might be a bit of a liability, but we'll see. Okay, so this alchemist is going to be buffing them with defense up and probably magic defense up as well. So... Bizarro, I don't really care if he dies, he can go off and do his own thing for now, hopefully distract some of them. Um, but really just want to prioritize getting this mender if we can. So let's send Rainer here. Oh, no, in fact, we'll use his fleet of foot first. So he can't jump up here, that's that difference of six. He only has five jumps, so I think he's going to have to jump across this pass. Let's move him up as far as he can. Kairi. Now, we could just push everyone up the right here, um, but we could end up getting a little bit stuck, especially if we can't jump up here very easily, so we'd probably want to split off a little bit. Um, I think Reiner and Vigil should be able to deal with these two guys on their own. So let's push up forwards up the hill with everyone else that we have remaining. And just end turn for now. Let's see where Virgil can move to. He can move up here, so with Lana, we'll hold her back just so that she can um, heal on both sides at a push doesn't have any defensive buffs at the moment. Probably gonna have to heal Bizarro to be honest. Ah, and the Mender has run away actually. That's quite annoying. So he was able to jump across this. I suppose it is only one step and the way it looks, it looks higher than it is. <laughs> Okay, so we can still try and flank them either way. I have a feeling these guys are going to try and hold this door at all costs, but we'll see if they do dare to push out. So for now, let's just push ahead with everyone else. <laughs> the wizard doesn't seem like he wants to hang about to get any damage on himself. And that's a miss, that's lucky for Kairi. Oh, these guys are getting buffed up very strong, gonna hold off going after them until we absolutely have to. Um, uh, so the reason that we can't jump across here is this is actually it's one tile away, but it's two tiles up, whereas when I was looking at the Mender over here, it's two tiles away, but only, well, zero tiles up, they're both at ten height, so I think Rayfen will be able to jump over if she moves up here. What does she have in chivalry? Um, she may as well protect mana just in case they go after her with any ranged attacks. Virtual. Uh, let's see if this enemy knight has any significant uh, resistances. No. So we'll go ahead and use fire on him. level up for our fortune. <laughs> Bizarro not taking my advice and just going straight for all the highly buffed up enemies. He has removed the buff on that Plague Doctor but we're not going to be able to capitalise that at all. So... I'm hoping that Reiner and Virgil can finish this guy off and then we'll have sort of free reign to move around a little bit. Uh, for now... Before we decide where Kyrie's going, Anadine could get in for a flank on this Reaver. Also called Rayfen, ironically enough. Um, Rayfen herself, she can also get in with a flank and attack on her spear. So let's commit to trying to take this guy out in this turn. I know I'm leaving Kyrie a little bit exposed, but. 
damage. You could actually use a forceful strike. I don't think it's going to cause any additional damage, but it would mean that we don't have to move anyone else up quite so far. Yeah, let's give that a try. 50 HP is losing regardless. Kind with a new Warhammer. And we've carried in that direction. Uh, I mean, I'm tempted to go up and try and heal Bizarro because I think he's a bit of a lost cause to be honest. If, even if we do heal him, there's quite a few enemies to take their turn before he gets a chance to move, so he's made his bed and he's going to have to line it. And we don't have the condition of keeping him alive in this battle, so if I'm confident that we can finish this guy off in this turn, then I'll move Lana over here. Although, when does he take his turn? Ah, uh, it's before Rayfen, unfortunately. Hmm, I think... No reason to push forward too fast, let's just leave Lana where she is. And can she heal anyone? No, no one else in range is... Because I was just one tile away, that's quite irritating. I suppose we could heal Reiner actually, take a little bit of damage from that spear. And Lana of course has the passive ability that she'll heal herself whenever she heals an ally as well. Okay, so... I think we'll just take the rear attack on her because Rayfen doesn't have very high damage, so even getting a good hit with her isn't guaranteed to do a lot. And I think we'll just play an old Normie attack. gets turn. Um, sort of want to stay out of this scoundrel's range with him. What does he have? Normal crossbow, so he should have four. Four here. Um, I'd just like it to not be considered a back attack. I suppose if we move over here, this should be a back attack for Reiner, whereas he should not be able to be uh, uh, targeted in such a way. Yeah, that is considered a back attack. Only does 53 damage, this knight must have pretty good defence. And... I shall leave him this way. Oh, one enemy's used a potion, wasn't counting on that. And decided to flee as well. Oh, another lucky miss on that spell. Only 18 damage from that, I suppose with the, uh, Bizarre was poisoned. With some of these hybrid classes, um, not actually going to have enormous stats, uh, so a knight with wizard abilities isn't actually going to do a huge amount of damage with his, um, with his wizard abilities because they're based on mind. Yeah, his mind is only 59, so... To someone like Kyrie, that's only going to be a bit of a tickle with a water spell. Now, where should we go with Rayfen? Hmm. Let's, let's move her up actually. We'll leave Reiner and Virgil to finish off that night without position. Um, I'm saying that Rayfen can't do very much if she does move up. I don't think she'll even be able to attack. Well, she can attack here, but only for 18 HP. Can't use a defensive hit on that. Uh, much of a difference in the height. Can't even protect Kyrie. Hmm. Can you protect it from here? No. Hmm. 
Well, maybe a change of plans then. Perhaps Reiner could actually move up and get a back attack on him. And we could have Ray Fen finish off this knight. I think she should be able to with a, a defense hit from the rear. Thirty-seven. Oh, thirty-one. That's unfortunate. But Virgil will finish him off. I'd like to just double check. Yeah, Virgil only has heal one. No mass heal, so we will need to be careful. Let's check. Around. It's quite low range on the early level wizard spells, so I think this is why he often gets into trouble because we need to move him into the mix so much. But this will finish off that night once and for all. I had no idea what you're trying to do. Oh, it is heroic to try to finish that Mender. Now, if we had Reiner taking his turn next, we could finish her off. That would have been a, a very heroic sacrifice, but I don't think it's going to happen, unfortunately. So, moving on to Kaidi now. This, yeah, he's put this wizard in a very poor position. Um, don't have anyone really to cast a range spell, so we can only attack him from the front, but hmm, that could end up kind of baiting us in to, to committing to that and being surrounded. I wonder. And if we move Kairi here to knock him down, that's a space of six. He would actually take extra fall damage, but between Kyrie and Anadine, they should finish him off. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about leaving Kyrie on her own up here with this knight and the plague doctor around her. Um, that could be a bit of a trap. Hmm. It's quite an annoying map because the enemy starts off in such a, a strong position. Let's see how much damage she would take if he's knocked off here. Oh, we can't use Force of Strike from there. Too much of a height difference. Could use it from behind, but that's only a difference of four, which is equal to his jump, so he wouldn't take any additional damage. Where can Anadine move? Let's decide that. So I think actually if we have Anadine move up here, block him off from coming up, she is potentially going to take a few hits to the back, but um, we're now going to have everyone else coming up to support, so in this case, let's just cut off the wizard with Kyrie. I'll actually inflict an attack down isn't going to affect him much. It doesn't matter about knocking him back because he can easily just move. So, yeah, let's work on just taking him down. Lana can finally go over here now. I'm a little bit worried about the enemy Reaver attacking her, but Anadine's going to take her turn first. So... Hmm... It's a bit of a gamble, but I think if we have Anadine attack him from the side, Reiner is actually going to get his turn before she does, so she could potentially be killed just by those two. I sort of want to heal Reiner as well though for putting him up there. Hmm. But we do need to get mana forward. Oh, she could heal first and then move up, so let's do that. So heal Reiner. I 
and then she can move over here. <laughs> Bizarro, unex as expected, has died due to his uh, Leroy Jenkins esque play there. And the Mendo's just easily healed himself back up, so not the best play from him, but what can we expect? Okay, so let's see what Anodine can do here. Again, can't force a strike, but only 36 damage even from a side attack. He does have 106 defense, but I expected a little bit more. Oh, and it's a miss. Damn, that's unfortunate. Uh, well, no. Reiner, can you finish him off in one hit? I doubt it. 74 HP. So, what are we going to be contending with up here? So, we've got the scoundrel. He's going to be off to the side. Uh, doing a fair bit of damage, probably. Although, only 88 attack because he's got the alchemist for his uh, primary class. He'll still be doing a fair bit of damage from the side. Um, we've got one Mender and these two. Plague Doctor and Night Wizard. Do you know what? None of them actually have enormous burst damage, so maybe we can get away with taking a little bit of uh, a few attacks while we finish these guys off. I'd like to keep everyone a bit closer together just to take advantage of Mass Hue if we need to rely on it. So. Rainer. I wonder if this would count as a back attack from here. It does. Oh, it's 64 HP. This is how strong the sneak attack is on a skilled up ranger. It's by far the highest damage in the, in the early game. So we'll just have to take, take this. Could have critted as well to finish her off, but no such luck this time. She's going to run away. 27 onto Kyrie. Again, 21. Not much damage coming out of him because of the primary knight. And unfortunately, Anadine is poisoned. Okay. Oh, no. Few times that the spear comes in as an advantage, Rayfin might be able to finish him off even from a tidal way. Let's see, 18. <laughs> Such pathetic level damage, but uh, uh, very much in two minds about the knight class. The defensive abilities don't come in that useful, and she does actually need to be within one tile to use the defensive hit, so it kind of makes the spear redundant, but this is one of the very few occasions where it is actually useful. As long as she doesn't miss. Nope. Well, that's good. Finished him off. Now, Virgil. Kind of... Oh, that was fortunate. Anadine didn't actually get poisoned by that spell. She only took the damage. So... I think we want to prioritise healing Anadine rather than Kyrie. Because Kyrie is just going to stick on this wizard and keep beating him from the front until he's finished off. Uh, so let's have virtual. I don't know. I'm loath to leave them all standing together like that if they take an area of effect spell. And saying that, what does the alchemist actually have here? And he has poison, that's a single target. Uh, actually, we should be okay standing next to each other. There is a laser ability that um, crossbow users can use to attack. Um, within a, a sort of straight line area of effect, but he's not going to have that. No point in trying to damage just now, so... Oh, still at range on Anadine, that's unfortunate. I wonder if we can reach her from here. This might be too much of a height difference. No, it's not. Um... Okay, happy for Virgil to go there for now. We'll, we'll move Lana away from him. Let's see what the scoundrel decides to do. 
Oh, it's actually buffed up these guys. That's actually better for us. I was worried about him moving off on his own to the side and making a nuisance of himself, forcing us to chase him down, but thankfully he's not taking that route. Uh, again, just have to go for a normal attack. I think it's going to take three turns to finish this guy off. Again, I just hate that we can't use Lana or Virtual to get a spell on him, but. Okay. Now, do any of these guys have Forceful Strike? No. So. Comfortable enough to move Lana up here. She could stop putting out some damage. Does anyone else need healing? Really only Kairi. I don't think these guys are going to go for her, so... Yeah, why not? Let's just start getting some damage out. Only 10 HP. <laughs> oh, come on. End up prioritizes killing up this wizard that we're trying to grind down. Well, she's going to pay for that by moving into such a position, and she's actually opened all of them up to get forceful strikes, so I'm going to punish the AI for this. I'm not even really concerned about defending ourselves here, and we're just taking advantage of this. If we can finish off the Mender, they're in bad shape. Um, now, I don't think we can actually take a sneak attack on her, because none of these will count as the side. So... I'd actually like to have Rhino over this side so he can help Kairi finish off that wizard, but let's see what other options we have. We could try and do blind on her, but I don't think it's really even worth the effort. I could try getting bleed on her. 30 HP. Um, do you know what? It's probably a better idea just to take the full damage that we can. She's going to be pretty much forced to heal herself. Oh, he's missed again. Getting quite lucky with evading spells today, but he has opened up his flank, thankfully, so we can finish off from behind. I still can't really move anywhere. In terms of healing, um, no one really needs it. The, the enemy's sort of composition here, I don't know if it's deliberate or not, but they're very sort of slowly buff oriented. They don't really have that killer edge. Um, so we're not actually suffering too badly, but may as well just heal up Anadine. And unfortunately she doesn't have the forceful strike. Um, she's not going to be able to attack the mender from there. So... <laughs> Do you know, these guys seem determined to just stand in front of this door. It doesn't seem they're actually going to move out and come after us, so we may as well just use Rayfen to sort of harass this scoundrel and keep him busy. I'd be quite pleased if he just uh, sort of trades blows with Rayfen, <laughs> and as I say that he runs off. Again, sticking on Renew. They don't really have a... well, they've got one Mender, but that Renew isn't going to save them in the long run. Compared to uh, just a pure healing spell. So... <laughs> one day we're going to finish this guy off, not today. But I have hope. Okay, Lana again now. It's Lana's son and then the healer's son. So we don't want her getting away. And I don't want to put Lana in too compromised a position. Let's see if she can attack from here. Yep, she can actually all three of these guys. So 
Unless anyone has any resistance, no. Nope. Me close to death. So it's Reiner and then Anadine to take the turn. 71 HP. I wonder if Reiner goes here, is that going to count as a back attack? Does, oh, it does! Back attack 75, so this should actually finish her off in one. That's excellent. Nice. So this should just be a matter of mopping these guys up now. Force will strike him. I know he has the highest defense, but we'll take advantage of uh, getting the, the force of strikes out. Oh, counter attack! Finally, it's finished off. Poison isn't going to help you now. You can easily cure that up. Okay, now Virgil. I'll call this time Virgil Unleashed. If you can finally use his uh, level 2 spells. I don't think. Yeah, no resistance for anyone. I'd like to move him across one more to get the full advantage of it. I'm not afraid of them attacking us now, so I just want to finish them off as uh, efficiently as possible. Doctor. He's the only one with any healing. I wonder if Rayfen can finish him with a defensive hit. No, she can't. Uh, only 22 damage, that's pretty low actually. Hmm. Well. I'd like to keep her out of the way so that we can uh, multi-target all of these guys by, by attacking here, so let's just move her off to the side. She can actually still attack the Plague Doctor with her spear for paltry 13 HP. But we'll take it for now, so we want to just wear him down. <laughs> and as expected, Virgil gets the gets targeted by everyone. As soon as he presents himself. Uh, Kyrie unfortunately out of range to deal any damage, but may as well get a little bit of experience by healing the poison off of Anadine. Lana likewise could pick up some good experience get a mass heal on all three of these guys. In a fortuitous position that they wound up in. Okay, so Rainer. I said normally never have all the units bunched up like this, but they don't really have any area of effect spells or forceful strikes, so take full advantage. Can't finish a scoundrel, unfortunately. This does count as a side stack, but just 2 HP away from finishing him. Unlucky. That is the furthest he can move. Well... Anadine's... In fact, Anadine's probably going to move to attack him. So... I wish we had an area of effect spell to use, but probably getting a bit too picky. Okay, let's just focus on. And move Anadine to finish him off before we can further frustrate us by healing back up a little bit. Or forceful strike when his Dory lost to defend so much. Uh. 
again, not really concerned about their any of effect fire attacks is his mates, that is so low. Wouldn't be the, the build that I would use. So resistance resistance 138, resistance 86 will make more sense to attack him. Let's just use Thunder because we haven't used that yet. 39, that's not bad. And he's down to 38. Yeah, between Rayfen and Lana, we'll finish him off. We use the other three to finish the night, so that'll do for now. Oh, 1 HP again. <laughs> The slimmest of margins he lost to fight another turn. Unfortunately, we're going to need to waste an action to finish him. Um, so, what's up next? Rainer and Anodine. Just take regular attacks on this guy and finish him off. attack on him, <laughs> hopefully he doesn't miss. Nope, no such luck for him today. I'd like me not to finish this guy off with one attack. It would be sensible going moving Tyler away to make sure he doesn't cut a counter attack just in case he misses. Unbelievable. Survives by 1 HP again. This is... <laughs> the game's trying to troll me. At least they've leveled up for this trouble. And finally Anodine. Finish him off. Good. And that's victory. So from what side off is a pretty poor position to be in the I'd say the AI did make some bad choices and not pushing forward and sort of trying to choke us up at the uh, the slopes up beyond the cliffs, so we were able to, to get into a better position, but still it's a nice finish to have no one no one die. Well, okay, so I think we'll leave it off there. We'll have a few new abilities I'm sure to level up um before the final battle with our fawns hopefully at the Highlands Temple. Uh, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.